God bless my brothers and sisters. I am here to speak behalf of God and I just pray that this word will alert you. When I speak on behalf of God, this is something serious. I'm not, this is nothing that I'm making up. This is a word from God. In my dream, the Lord spoke to me and I was sitting at the table and there was a feast. And the voice of God says, do not get the COVID shot. Whatever you do, do not get the shot. The people think it's not going to get worse, but it's going to get worse. They haven't seen anything yet. They haven't seen anything yet. Those who thought that they cannot get COVID because of the shot, they're going to see what they're going to experience. And I am will see, God says. They haven't experienced anything yet. God says, do not take it. Don't take it. Continue to have your faith. The church is not believing. The church is lacking faith. And they're not putting their faith in God. But his people too will see how things are going to get worse. God is not happy with the church. There are put in, uh, in implant meeting more fear than faith. And God is not happy. And God also said to start buying food and start saving it. Start saving it. I pray that this word will reach you and you will believe this word. Take it up to God. Test it. Don't reject it. Take it up to God and say, God, is this true? This is why we need a relationship with God. This is why it's so important that God speaks to us and we consult God in all things. Because before the Lord revealed this to me, I asked him, Lord, can I get the shot? It's okay. Is it it that big of a deal? Am I allowed? And I waited for the Lord to answer me and he did answer. We need to consult God in all things and everything we do. We must be wise and have discernment. Take the warning of God, take heed of his warning and don't jeopardize your life. Continue to have your faith, guys. Continue to believe and have faith in God. God bless.